Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so it is now January 2021. I've made it past the new year. Uh, this is the first weekend of January that I am recording this, so Unlike the one that came out on New Year's Day, which had been recorded back in December, this one is actually being recorded in January. So we have made it into a new year. <laughs> um, so I don't really set myself New Year's resolutions. Um, not official ones. Anyway, last year I did say that I wanted to do more to support um, indie creators um, and I did actually read a lot of books by indie authors um, and give reviews and stuff like that. Um, I'm hoping to do more of that again this year. Um, I feel like it was a good use of my time last year. I thought it was a very rewarding use of my time last year. Um, don't know exactly when I'm going to start getting back into that, but mm, the plan is to definitely um, go ahead and do a little more, uh, a little more uh, supporting of indie authors again next year. Um, hopefully, if uh, the world settles down, the situation uh, becomes a bit more manageable, then I would also like to. Um, support indicators um, in other formats, uh, such as uh, indie plays and, and you know, various things like that. Um, I mean, last year I'd have liked to have done that, <laughs> ideally, but the situation just did not allow for it. Um, not after like the first couple of months, so supporting indie authors was the best way of supporting indie um, in a way which was safe for me and uh, hopefully beneficial to the indie authors that I did read and review and support throughout the year. Um, so as well as that, uh, my personal goal is to release more books this year. Um, <laughs> no idea how many at this point. Uh, obviously I still have a leftover book from last year that needs to come out first. Um, Fingers crossed by the end of January. And then I know what the second book I want out um, next year is. And it's just a, it's a long one to get through, uh, which is the fourth of the Brayton books. Um, so definitely before the end of the year, I want the complete Neverating series out there. Um, the marathon of books. <laughs> um, I would also like at least the first two books of the What Makes Me, which is the first spin-off series to be released. Um, if not all four of them, we will wait and see how that goes. Um, obviously that's very dependent on time and obviously my cover guy as well. Um, so, you know, fingers crossed, hopefully I can release at least two of them maybe even all four of them um and of course there's the other spin-off series which i am currently writing and the second two books in the shadows beneath the arc shadows beneath the arc shadows beneath the light um overall series um my aim in terms of my writing therefore is to definitely finish the second book in the second arc of the Shadows Beneath the Light series. I finished the first one now, I'm writing the second one now. If I can finish the second one before the end of this year, then the second arc will be released next year. Um, if I can finish it sooner and somehow manage to get those books out sooner, then I will, obviously, but it's all dependent on how long it takes me to get through. Um, some days, and it, it, I find this with both of the writing projects I've got going on at the moment, some days I will write loads for one and not very much for the other, and other days it's vice versa. It's all very dependent on um, where my brain's at, where I know the thing is going. Sometimes I need that little bit of extra time to kind of get that focus that I need in order to get that scene going where I want it to. Um, 
so writing can be a bit of a slow process. Um, I mean, when I was writing a chapter a day, I, I was literally spending eight hours a day writing. Um, I mean, I know I was taking like, breaks every now and then, but I was fundamentally spending eight hours a day at least writing. Um, and that kind of focus is is very tiring and very rewarding at the same time. Um, which is why I know I would never sort of write like that again. If you know I had the time to sort of do it, I would spend more time editing as well and let like the writing process take that little bit more time because sometimes you need that little bit more time. But I would also allocate a bit more time for writing during the day. Um, like my days off at the moment, I'm still in that kind of. Um, I want a little bit of, of time for me um, sort of mode, which is why I haven't gone back to the reviewing yet. Um, I think sometimes, certainly like when I've, I've had a massive project and No Draws Allowed has been a mass, massive project to work on throughout the course of last year. Um, and certainly like the last, like the intensity at which I did those last few edits, um, I just need a sort of, take some time to sort of go back to a sort of status quo um, and a sort of a mental relaxation that I know I've had like all of December <laughs> but December has not been like the most it's not like the most normal month for taking a of time for yourself because you've got to focus on other things um, and obviously with the way that December panned out as well you know it's it's a case of I want a little bit more time to just be a bit selfish and focus on like things that I want to focus on, playing some video games, because when I'm doing like the book stuff, uh, like the video games get a bit neglected, um, because you need to kind of, you know, concentrate on, on the reading, even when you're using the voice reader to sort of play it for you, you need to have a little bit of concentration for what you're listening to, especially at the speed at which I'm listening to it, because <laughs> you don't want to miss anything important that might like change the way you view the book. Um, so no, I do take the yeah, I do take it seriously when I am you know sitting down to to read and review something uh, by by a fellow indie author because you know I'm you know I do take the their creative process seriously as I take my own creative process seriously. So they it, you know it's it's a case of you want to show respect for the work that has gone into it. Therefore, I do try to concentrate when I'm actually. <laughs> reading even if I'm getting the voice reader to read for me and I'm able to sort of free myself up to kind of do other things at the same time it's never something that I need to in concentrate on intensely specifically because I want to have my focus where it should be um in fact quite often I will like run myself a bath and and you know have it playing whilst I'm in the bath because it's it's a nice relaxing way of uh of multitasking <laughs> multitasking without actually multitasking so yeah, at some point I will get back to the reviewing. I just want a little bit more time to be a little bit selfish and catch up on some video game playing um, because that got a little bit neglected with everything else that went on last year when I had like literally no time to do anything. Um, I mean, I am still doing a fair amount of stuff um, in terms of my writing at the moment. So obviously I'm writing two projects. Um, so I'm on the second book in the second arc of the Shadow Beneath the Light series, which is either going to be called um, Cutting the Strings or something along those lines, or like Pulling the Strings or Puppets on Strings or something, something like that. Something to do with that sort of motif, just based on what I know some of the key themes are for these two books. Um, and the other project I'm waiting where I'm writing is the is now the third book in the second spin-off from the Nev Rayton series. So um, the first this is a spin-off from the spin-off. So this is the third generation with these characters. Um, so the the first one I needed to do the second one um, afterwards because of something that I did at the end. Um, and during the course of the second one, there's been not a lot of focus necessarily, but there's been this, like this subplot going on in the background um, with this other character, which could not get neatly resolved within the main the main character of the second book's story because just because of circumstances, and I didn't want like I didn't want to like rush 
um, and like neatly tie up that ending. So I basically kind of went, okay, I need a, a third book focusing on this third character, and now I'm kind of like, I don't know how many book more books there are going to be in this particular spin-off series. Um, I'm thinking it's either going to, I, I, I get a feeling it's probably going to be five. And I get the feeling it's probably going to be five, specifically because I've done something that I didn't do with the Never Rating collection, and one of the characters in the first two books isn't part, isn't really part of the main friendship group. And the main friendship group isn't quite like the Never Rating main friendship group where everything they did was very much uh, intersecting with each other and there was this, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of their stories were overlapping and stuff like that. Um, with this particular group of friends, um, there is definitely more of a, more of a distance with them and now that I think about it, it would probably end up being six, <laughs> not five. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it would end up being six. Um, as be, because there, there is there is more members of this group, um, and one of the members that I've focused on so far, technically speaking, um, is its love interest of the main character in the first book. So I've already done. I would like to say I've already done something that's completely different, but no, yeah, it it kind of is because there's an ever rating series. Um, yeah, that they are all friends first, and then the fact that two of them are also love interest is kind of almost irrelevant to the fact that they are friends first. Um, it is and it isn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, because uh, you've got the it's like I, this is the thing is uh, the main character in the the first of those the first of these three books that I've written is a twin, and his twin hasn't had his story told yet. So that's why, yeah, you, you definitely probably, I probably need to do um, one focusing on his twin brother. And then I did the second one on said twins, first twins love interest, um, just because it made sense to kind of see the fallout from the events of the end of his book um, and, and see like what happens next. And, what effect that has on on an individual who you know has to go through this particular thing that this character goes through at the end of the first book then the third book is focusing as i said on a character that kind of gets this this subplot going on um through the background of the second book and to resolve it in a way that doesn't feel rushed and doesn't necessarily have a nice neat bow to it but resolves itself in a more natural way um and as i said i almost definitely need a fourth book to go back to the other twin uh just because it feels wrong not to go back to the other twin um just because he's quite an interesting character in and of himself and there's certainly a lot of room for this particular character to grow and it's like oh, do i then complete the rest of their friendship group because there are two more characters in their friendship group both of which are incredibly interesting characters minor characters um but fairly interesting characters interesting enough that they would they do merit having their own having their own stories but i don't know four might be the perfect number so it, it's I don't know how many books are going to be in this particular spin-off series. Um, I kind of like it being like four, four, four. Um, so it may well be that I decide not to do one for the twin uh, and focus on one of the other two friends um, instead. I, 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 yeah, there, there is a way that I could sort of do it as that sort of four um, because the four before I didn't focus on the twin. Um, yeah, the, the four before, yeah, there, there is a way I can do it as just being four books, but it all depends on which characters speak to me at which points, um, because one of the things I very much find when I'm writing series like this is 
that quite often I don't know who the next character is going to be until towards the end of, of the writing process for the, the book that I'm currently writing. Um, and then it's all a matter of, oh, I wonder what's happening with this because something will kind of go, pay attention to me. Um, and that will sort of like change my focus, change the way that I'm thinking about things and will very much make a decision um, as to whether or not I need to focus on another character. So with the last four, I yeah, it felt like a nice square um, and they weren't like heavily into intermingled characters um, like all the way through. Um, and definitely there were like overlapping parts of of their lives and stuff like that. They were all connected to each other, but they weren't necessarily as heavily connected as the characters um, in the Never Eating Collection are. Um, so I could just do four for this current series and it work as a nice little square. Um, I just have to work out which character definitely needs to have that fourth story. And that's going to be a hard decision because all three of these characters that I haven't focused on yet are all incredibly interesting in their own rights. Um, so it may end up being six. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know what their stories are yet, so we'll we'll have to wait and see. Very much have to wait and see. Um, so let's got a little bit sidetracked. <laughs> so my New Year's resolutions, if you want to call them that, are first of all to read more indie books and support more indie authors this year. To um, release definitely no doors allowed and the giants and then hopefully the first two books in the what makes me series um if not all four of the books in the what makes me series to finish writing the second book in the second arc of the shadows beneath the light series and actually come up with an arc name that i am happy with or at least remember the one that i really liked because I, I just feel like i can't remember the one that i really liked at the moment it's a little bit frustrating um I would also like to finish writing the third book in the uh, second spin-off series <laughs> that doesn't yet have its own uh, series title. Um, and then decide hopefully what the fourth book is going to be and if it's just going to be four books or if there are going to be more than four books. Um, so yeah, very busy year ahead of me in terms of what I would like to accomplish by the end of this year. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, that's all manageable stuff. Um, they're not, as I said, proper resolutions. Uh, they're just kind of life goals for the upcoming year that, fingers crossed, I can actually achieve. Um, I did quite well last year. I know I didn't do the three books that I'd been planning, but I definitely did two of the three that I was planning, and that was a lot of work in and of itself. I wrote a whole bunch more than I ever thought I would. Um, like that, that time off that I had was just amazing in terms of, of writing progress. Um, I I'm in a very good place with my writing right now. I'm in a very positive place with my writing right now. Yes, I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't get that third book out last year. But, you know what, well, end of January, let's do this. We can get there. Um, you know, the, I'm going to make the best of this year, whatever comes, uh, whatever happens this year. And making the rest of the year for me means... Um, being happy with the writing and the editing and whatever else that I'm doing and I feel like very satisfied with that. So. <laughs> Alright, here we go 2021. Um, okay, well I hope you guys have found that one sort of interesting. I apologise, I got a little bit off track somewhere in the middle there. <laughs> Once I start talking about my writing I find it very hard to stop. Um, I hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is I'm going to talk about next time and I will see you next time. See ya! <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!